Oh, you talking about Marxism now? Like, like, yeah, it's not Marxism. I'm not talking about Marxism. Let him walk into that. Let him walk into that. Look, look, so I say that you're speaking about Marxism now because now you're talking about the proletariat versus the bourgeoisie. Exactly. The average person is the proletariat. That is a C student that works at the factory jobs and okay. that America wants to see that, level up to okay, the bourgeoisie. Okay, can I ask you a question that, that's, How could it be a Marxist? How could it be Marxism if the factory, per, if the factory person owns their home, owns their car? Marxism is a system where the government controls and owns everything. I'm not talking about the power of the proletariat. I'm talking about the strength of it. They're two different things. The strength of the proletariat. Isn't that what you're saying no, about the no, system? No, no, no. The strength of the proletariat. Isn't that what you're saying about the system? Though? Let me tell you, the strength of the proletariat is this. The strength of the average everyday working American is this. Right. Is that they consume and that they and they have worth and value, right? Right. If we're living in a situation right now where the top 1% of the 1% own half of the stock market, the 1% own 99% of the wealth in the country. I don't know how long you guys can think that can last, but I can tell you something, not long. Right. And if you study the history of world civilizations, what you see is there's an inflection point where a, where a civilization gets either too decadent or loses its, its identity and they fail. The Romans failed because they didn't realize they were Romans anymore because there was nothing inside of them to bond them together. The working class was gone. They traded that for imperialism. And what I'm telling you right now is in the situation that we're in, especially when we're talking about black people, when we're talking about black people, we need to talk less about Jay-Z. We need to talk less about Obama. We need to talk about the people that are living in this neighborhood, the people that are living in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and what it is that they can do. Because if you expect somebody to come out and save a family Just or a generation of people because they're six foot five and they can dunk a basketball or because they're one of the no, greatest no, no, rappers no, no, of all no, no, time, no, 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 but one of the best business no, acumen no, of all no, time. No, no, I'm no, telling you, no. what your children should That's be, not what I'm your, your children can look up to Jay-Z. When, 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 when you say children, okay, cool. Oh, cool. All right, family structure. Um, I am not ahead of my family due to the fault of my success. Right? You're not what? I'm not the head of my family. You're not the head of your family. So am I. Default to success. Right? Yeah. And my, my father died. Right. Yeah. Your nieces and nephews, who do you think they're looking at? When their parents are calling you mm -hmm. to get money, who do you think your nieces and nephews are really looking at? Well, let me explain something to you. Just quick, No, I'm, I'm asking the question. Well, I, I, and I, I can I'll, answer for it. So, but that, that doesn't happen. It doesn't because, happen. No, it doesn't happen. Because I understand what you're talking about. Right. So when someone needs something from me, right. like what I tell, like I have a very specific way. I know that in, I'm being, I'm, this is 100% 100, 100 real. I can get my niggas on the phone right now. Right. When you need something from me, I'll make sure that you know, not to let anybody know that you got it from me. Right. So if, if you call me right up, man, right now I need four or $5,000, like it's graduation time. Like, don't let nobody know you got it from me and you don't have to pay me back. The reality is, when you're in your home, right. your family has to know that you have their back. That's true. So, so for me, I don't, mm. they ain't not looking at me because what I, would, what I tell my home, no, they, they not looking at me because what I tell my homeboys and my friends and my family, when my, when my father passed away, if I did, if I wasn't in the situation I was in, I don't know what we would have done. When their parents are watching TMZ, who do you think they're looking at? I, what I'm telling you right now is it's a difference between saying, yeah, Uncle Van's on TV and being like, yeah, Uncle Van is the reason that we got bread in the refrigerator. No, uh, like but bread that, that's the not it. But so either I'm, way, you just, just perception, on perception alone, Uncle Van is on TV. He's got to be the most successful. That's what the kids think. That's what the kids think. What I'm yeah. telling you. My daughter thought I was a millionaire because I was on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> you dig what, what I'm saying? What I'm telling you. This is what the kids think. What I'm telling you is it doesn't matter what they think. To me, it matters who they know they can rely on in their household. That's if they look at me and they say, hey, Uncle Van is on TV. He's famous, whatever. That's one thing. But what they have to know is that I'm not there every single day. Their fathers, their mothers, mothers. the people that are right there. All Those right, cool. are the people that you rely on. All right, cool. Remove yourself out the picture. Yeah. Who do kids naturally want to be when they're, when they're young? Kids, 
our children. Why are we basing what we think about society around what kids want to see? Because kids want to be motherfucking be, Spider-Man. Because, because like kids want to be Batman. Because, because until kids someone wanna, likes you, kid, like, 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 right, right. Hold on, kids kids want to be the the, the they dog from be, up. They the kids want to wanna be, be door they want to be the exceptional. Like kids, like kids, right? kids want to be. They want to be the exceptional. And like you're sitting here saying, no, don't look at the exceptional. Look at the regular people. No, these kids, yeah. Follow Jay Z. Learn what the fuck he did. He went to he went to college during his rap career. He, he figured all this shit out in business and sat with uh, uh, Warren Buffett and all the shit. Yes, watch that shit. Okay, aspire to be I, I'm not, that big. I'm, he did top too. Big. But like he, he did top like big. Thirty six years old. Yeah. This one like with with uh, he was thirty six. <laughs> but, 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 but that's what like I, I, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Thirty six. Don't shoot up. You can't be taking shots at home like that. You heard? Thirty six is the best time Brooklyn. Some bullshit. He's a legend. Shout out to Jay Z. Uh, look, 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 36 in the corner. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Cut it out. But how old are you boxing? Huh? You boxing? Oh, how old are you boxing? I'm 43, nigga. Exactly. I'm 43, nigga. I'm 43. And I got that ass for these motherfuckers. No, he said, he said Jay was 36. <laughs> you 43. I'm 43. Boy, I'll tell you what. You're on the sparring bro. pad line with the 13 year olds. Bro, bro. Hey, y'all, thanks. You, bro. Bro, y'all, bro, y'all don't love nothing more than y'all love from Jay Z. But anyway, shout out to Jay Z. Love Jay Z. Y'all love Big Big Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Right Big now, Brooklyn. Like, Jay-Z. Big Brooklyn. Because of Jay Z? Nah, nah, sure nah Birdman looks. But look. <laughs> but look, seriously, though. Seriously, though. And this is. But, as we go back and forth, right. this is actually a very important conversation. Yes, it is. And mm-hmm. the reason why it's an important conversation is because, like, the reality of it is, is my grandfather right now is a millionaire, right? Mm-hmm. He's a millionaire. He's an older guy. Right. On my mom, on my um, on, on my mom's side, my, my mom's dad, he's a millionaire. He worked at the post office. He worked at the post office. He was able to work at the post office for a very long time, right? Mm-hmm. After he worked at the post office. He opened up Ellis Corner, um, uh, Ellis Corner Groceries, and that was a grocery store that he fed the people in South Baton Rouge for a long, long time, right? Mm-hmm. And then after that, he was able to buy land, achieve uh, like uh, achieve all ownership at the post office. All that. Well, he never missed a day, and he was smart with his money, and he was able to get a loan, Dan's buy stuff, and stuff. Is the reason them packs ain't come through. What the fuck is so he you talking know. about? <laughs> like, yo, the fucking father is the reason the packs ain't come through. Yo. But what I'm telling you guys, he's having the boxes on his side. Hold on, hold on. I want to say this real quick. Yes, what? Wait, hold on, hold on, man. Right? But the thing is this. But the thing is this. Hold on, hold on, man. Hold on. His grandfather aspired, either aspired to be something that he saw from someone else. Well, he got that education in how to expand his wealth. Well, he was you're just not exceptional. Human you're not. Human. You're not wrong. But let me right. tell. But let me tell you what my point about this is. When I look at my grandfather, I look at another situation. I hurt my knee playing ball when I was 11 years old. Right. right. When I was 11 years old, I go to uh, the orthopedist. I go to the orthopedist, and I'm looking in the orthopedist's office, and in the office is the picture of him, and he's with Shaq. You know, Shaq played at LSU. It's him, he's with Shaq, he's with, uh, who's Chris Jackson then, who is now my mood, Abdul Raouf, shout out to that brother. Mm. He's, he's, mm. he's at Saints games, he's doing all of this stuff. And um, the guy, his, father, his, his kid was in class with me. And I remember coming back, this, this, the Messina family, I remember coming back and I'm asked Travis Messina, I'm like, dog, like, I see your dad hanging out with Shaq and like hanging out with the Saints and like going to the games and living this crazy life. I see y'all on vacation and all of that stuff. I'm like, what is your dad? Like, what is it? He goes, no, he's like, he's a doctor. He, he worked on your knee. And I'm like, yeah, that's what he does. And in my mind, what I'm thinking at that time is in order to live that lifestyle that you have to be a Thanks. boxer, a singer. Right. But if you guys go to any other city other than Los Angeles, Miami, and New York, you cannot name the people sitting courtside. You don't know who they are. Right. You don't know who the people sitting courtside at a Milwaukee Bucks game is. You don't know who the people sitting courtside at a San Antonio Spurs game is. You don't know who they are. Right. The reason why is because those people are people that are doctors and attorneys. Some of them might be invited by the police and stuff like that. I'm telling you, we should all strive to be the best that we can. 
But what I'm telling you is there's a lot more best and we don't give ourselves enough leeway and leash to see that. This is hot for trap trapper turns smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends sleep earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to serve you heard.